coming up next, it's a flyweight tilt between Sergio Pettis and Brandon Moreno. A pro dating to 2011. Here he is, assassin baby Brandon Moreno. Who could forget the UFC debut against Lewis Smolka? Biggest underdog on the fight card, top to bottom, leaves with a submission win, and immediately vaulted into UFC flyweight contention. This division is wide open, potentially Moreno's to seize if he can get through this challenger here tonight. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness, come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. All right, so here is the flyweight contender, Sergio Pettis, started his MMA training at 13 years old after seeing his brother, Anthony Showtime, Pettis' first three UFC fights, and we are certainly glad he did. Sergio Pettis, a young man, but has already vaulted into UFC title contention. We will see what he can do in yet another big spot here tonight, Joe. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Both fighters are 24, with similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Marino! And now he his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, Sergio! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, I'm not sure any fan base makes more noise than these Canadians. We are just about ready to go. Live action underway here at Air Canada Centre in Toronto. So here is the Rufus Sport kickboxing product, Sergio Pettis, as we start round one here. He has been a fast starter in the UFC, certainly as an amateur MMA fighter, he was a strong starter. We'll see if he can get that elusive first UFC finish here tonight. Huge kick to the head, lands. Spinning back fist is there. Great combination there, Joe. And as his uppercut is blocked, looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Back angle! He hurt him! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Both guys landing with conviction now. And he connects with the punch there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice punch there by the way. How about He's that shin? Huge 
shot there, lands flush. Moreno's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. And he immediately, yeah, got that clinch again. There he goes, he moves to the back. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double underhooks now. Gets the back. Thirty seconds to go. Moreno gets the takedown here late in the round. Armbar, armbar. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. It looks like he's got that armbar locked in tight. Now to next. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Let's take a look at that again. He's going exactly like we planned. He cannot handle the striking. Listen to me. You're going to land that right hand in this round. Just keep Ariane Celeste is with us. Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. here we go with round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, big left hand. Left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Body kick, look at that. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh! Big kick, but miss. Can we show you the total strikes? Oh, that flush right hand is true, Joe. Punch coming, it's blocked. Slips. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork with that one appeared to stun him. Oh! Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Two shots there. He hurt him with that hook. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Pettis gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Well, a really good... Oh! He's got him hurt here. Moreno gets in the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, hook in the clinch there by Brandon Murray. Under two minutes to go in our second round. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, reversal. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Nice right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, he gets reversed. He's trying to pass here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Posture's up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Pettis gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Pettis. Yeah, it's, it's freaky. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, he showed off his powerful striking there with a knockdown. Great round for Moreno. There was a huge moment in that round and a huge moment in this fight.
There it is again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round, and at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. He caught that. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. a huge kick. That's oh, a hard so hook. good with that hook, Joe. Oh, straight oh, right. He tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he connects once again. It looks like it landed right on that cut. He is clearly targeting it at this point in time. Hard to fault the strategy. How about that shin? Pettis' face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. He's changing knees here in the clinch. Now a knee to the body. Moreno gets the tight clinch here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. Tags him with the left. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, oh, clipped him with a nice right hand there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. How about these two going at it? Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last... Oh, he tagged him! He got hurt very, very badly. How good is that jab by Brandon Moreno? Oh, very nice. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Whoa! Oh. He's rocked. Big he's body shot. shot. Body. Oh, another one. Big shots. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Defense there, huge block for him. Flipped him with the drag. Great exchanges. Moreno's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight! This is where you need really educated judges. Round three, this is the shot that clearly stuns him right there. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Brandon the Assassin Baby! All right, so there he is, your winner tonight by way of decision. So he didn't get the finish that he was looking for, but he will certainly take the nod there and the accompanying win money. Congratulations on one of the bigger wins of his UFC career.